Mass unlawful migration. Let's be really clear about what's going on on our southern border. We are willfully allowing another nation state, in this case Mexico, to export their poverty on a grand scale to this country. There are scores of other nations that are also sending their poor to our border, but Mexico accounts for the overwhelming majority. Illegal immigration, unlike what the socialists try and falsely argue, does not, does not make our country stronger. It causes tremendous damage and strain to our economy. Now, let me be very clear here. Illegal, let's underline that, illegal immigration does not make America stronger. Now, let's underline something else, legal. Legal immigration, by contrast, does. And uh, an open border policy, which is the de facto policy of the Democratic Party, that's what they're arguing for, is about the worst possible way to approach immigration. Look, we are a nation of immigrants, we get that. And we should allow folks from around the world to come here. But we need to have a process, strict guidelines and procedures, and make the applicants be, you know, we have to vet them. Our policy should be to take the world's best and brightest, not reward those who break the law as soon as they step foot in our country. The cost of illegal immigration in terms of education, public safety, health care, and public assistance is tremendous. It's into the tens of billions, maybe even the hundreds of billions of dollars. It is a budget buster. So why would anyone advocate for this madness to continue? Well, let's answer that question. When three quarters of descendants of illegal immigrants are voting for the Democrats, the Democratic Party, the Socialist Party, well, they have no intent or incentive to fix the problem. The sad truth is we, we as a country both have the resources and the ability to secure our border and dramatically cut the flood of illegals to a trickle. But see, the problem is we don't have the will as a country. The Republican Party does. The Democrats don't. And their allies in the, in the media also, you know, perpetuate their goals. And that's the key. The Democrats try to fight our efforts at every turn. And why would they want to weaken America? I mean, I don't think, honestly, they care so long as they can win elections. And inevitably, when a Republican starts talking about cracking down on illegal immigration and fix this mess once and for all, the pejoratives begin. We're called names, and you know what I'm talking about. All sorts of ones that don't bear repeating. But one of them, of course, is you're a racist. You don't want people to come to this country that don't look like you. The next time you hear this absurdity, answer with these inconvenient, and well, inconvenient for the left anyway, these inconvenient truths. There are approximately 5 million people waiting to come to this country legally from all over the world. And they're waiting patiently and they're waiting in line. Most of them, and well, for them, it takes about 11 years to get to the country on average. In fact, a million Mexican nationals are waiting in their home country to join us here in the United States. And they're doing it the right way. And that's a remarkable number when you consider that's 1% of the entire population of Mexico. And these are exactly the type of people we want to come here. The ones that will respect our laws and our rules and our institutions. And when we allow for mass unlawful migration, these good people that are following the procedures that we put forth, they have to wait even longer. This is not and never was about race. It's about votes. And here's proof. Of the five million folks that I just mentioned waiting to come to this country legally, well, 95% of them are people of color. This isn't about race. It's about votes. You see, when educated folks, people with a strong skill set or a trade come to this country legally, they don't net vote for the Democrats. So it's not an advantage to them to let these kind of folks in, the ones that will strengthen our country. But those that are undereducated and poor and lack English language skills, well, those folks are easy, well, they're easier to corral and manipulate. The more dependent someone is on government, the more apt they are to vote for bigger government. And which party is going to give them more of that? We need to be spreading, we need to be spreading the truth about illegal immigration and the Democrats' motives from the highest rooftops in the country. Get to the mountaintop and preach. It is incumbent upon all of us to do what is in the best interest of this nation state, of our own country, putting America first. And the best interest when it comes to immigration is to clearly have a legal, well-functioning migration process and do everything in our power to fight illegal immigration 
and once and for all secure our border. I'm Senator Pat Fallon, a candidate for Congress in the 4th Congressional District. I'd be honored and humbled to have your support and your vote on August 8th in Sulphur Springs. God bless you and God bless Texas. I'm Pat Fallon and I approve this message.